Today is Thursday, March 4th, and this is Unoya, spoken by Elswith. So, today is not my birthday. An observant fellow thought he managed to narrow down the date, and I will say he's close, and to be fair, he didn't guess it was today but a couple of days ago. Anyway, I'll still thank you for the birthday wishes because happy thoughts are always welcome. And speaking of happy thoughts, Nicholas managed to find three songs. Are you ready? Uh, This one's easy, right? The Rolling Stones, you can't always get what you want. I think that's the one that comes to almost everyone's mind. And then the Pink Floyd song, which I wouldn't have thought of, and he was very specific and added that it was part two for Another Brick in the Wall. And the song that I did think of, but couldn't remember the name of, Michael Jackson, Heal the World. But, hey, nobody mentioned the Red Hot Chili Peppers, so what's about that? Anyway, I'm not even going to tell you which song it was of theirs, you'll have to figure it out yourself. Place yourself comfortably in the chair with each hand resting palm downwards. Palms down on your thighs with both feet resting flat on the floor. Remember how good it is just to breathe properly and how calm it makes you feel. You may feel a pleasant tingling in the nostrils as you breathe in through the nose and a loosening of tension as you breathe out from the mouth. As you breathe in, you begin to feel more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed and at ease. You feel even more relaxed as you breathe out and you can allow the stomach to rest as it wants to. Imagine if you will that behind me and just over my left shoulder is a window. Curtains open so you can see the view. I like to think of it as a portal to any place outdoors we wish to be, or somewhere that I lead and you follow. As you stare at the window, the frame and curtains no longer matter. They just become shapes. It's only the outside that attracts your view and it soon becomes that you can feel yourself there, outside. A pleasant temperature as the seasons change and all around is evidence of that change. Think of yourself in the chair, the room in which you sit. Perhaps the whole building, the city or the town it is in. And know that while you are there, you can also experience here. The birds, the breeze, the wind chimes, the vibrations. Everything in the material world is made up of vibration. The material world is resonant. Listen to the chimes, the bird song, and other tones around us. As I speak about today's word, take the time to see, feel what note connects with you and match it. As you hum, you pair the word with your own voice that no one has but you. It's your vocal fingerprint. Nobody hums like you do exactly 
and a body just your size sitting right where you are right now. Wrap the word with your intention and release the vibrations of your voice. Vibrations which you send out into the ever vibrating world. Our word for today is relinquish. Take a few moments to consider the word. See it spelled out. R E L I N Q U I S H Relinquish Allow yourself to feel the first thought or emotion connected to that word. Relinquish. Allow that thought feeling to just tug at your sleeve, say what it needs to say, and go on. You can greet other thoughts in the same way. And like every day, you can go on and do this again and again, humming that note, that vibration as you consider the word relinquish. The person who submitted this word hoped to relinquish control by letting go of safety nets. Now, while we'd never let go of our safe words, what safety nets have ensnared you? Or perhaps tethered your ankle to the post of a bed that's too small, too big, too hard, too full of nails, too not you. You might not be Goldilocks, which is good because she's a bit of a creeper, but you may still be settling for not right. He hopes that relinquishing these safety nets will allow his sink or swim instinct to take over and take him to the right spot. You know, the bed that's just right to be tethered to. Relinquish. You already know what you need to relinquish, don't you? You know. Pair that with your note, your vibration. Think on it today. You can hum your note or perhaps even sing or chant your word anytime. It will always do you good. Consider it to be continual spell casting. Hum when you're doing the dishes or driving, walking in the shower. Feeling blue or feeling caught in a pattern that you want to change. And of course, during our times together. The more you listen to it, and especially the more you hum it, the more power it has to affect change in your life. When you hum, the sound vibrations you make spiral out in all directions, touching and changing the vibrations of everything around you to fit. The more you hum, the more effect you have on the world around you. My vibration and yours will also meet. I've placed mine carefully in this music for you. 